Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everybody. My name is Sigma Nurhistolasti from Department of Chemical Engineering, 11 Maret University. Today, I will present our research about a novel synthesis of cathode material, sodium nickel titanium oxide from sodium ion batteries. The introduction, energy is a component that is always needed by human in fulfilling life. One of them in the field of transportation. The use of car with fossil fuels has begun to be replaced with electric cars that are more particle and environmentally friendly. Application in energy storage in electric cars such as batteries are increasing in use. Energy storage in the form of electronic device is required to be efficient, leadward, not oversized, and have high performance. Lithium batteries are currently the best performing battery technology. Sodium batteries are attractive to develop due to their low cost and potential for stationary energy storage. Electrical components of sodium battery are consist of cathodes, anodes, electrolyte, and separator. Electrolytes are important components that have an important influence on battery capacity. Oxide-based cathodes are very potential to be developed because they have a more stable structure. One of them is sodium nickel titanium oxide, which is a cathode oxide coat with nickel and titanium transition metal. Some research about sodium nickel titanium oxide. Sodium nickel titanium oxide was first reported in 2014 as a sodium battery cathode by UHL using the solid state method for 24 hours. According to Wang, sodium nickel titanium oxide is a material that is stable again opposed to air. This cathode is made using the ultrasonication method. Maleti in 2019 researched the cathode of sodium nickel titanium oxide using the solid state method for 25 hours. Previous study has used the solid state method, which requires more energy. Research on the synthesis of this material is still small, and no one has used the combination method of co-precipitation and solid state. Co-precipitation method has advantage simple process, faster process can be used to multi-component and homogeneous. Solid state method has advantage simple process only one or two percussor are used. The combination of co-precipitation and solid state was carried out for 20 hours so that it can some time. The co-precipitation method can increase the homogeneity of the material so that a better material is obtained in terms of structure. The primary material used in the production of sodium nickel titanium oxide cathode battery are nickel sulfate, titanium oxide, and sodium carbonate. Additional ingredients are ammonia as gelatin agent and oxalic acid as a precipitant. Synthesis of sodium nickel titanium oxide cathode material by preparing raw material and additive. Titanium oxide is first dissolved in aqua gas for one hour, then mixed with nickel sulfate in water with a concentration of 2 molar. Using a magnetic stirrer, the solution was stirred to form a homogeneous solution. Then, ammonia and oxalic acid were additive simultaneously to pitch art to until the plum green slurry is formed. The slurry was virgos mixed with the pitch art and temperature of 60 degrees Celsius where maintenance for 2 hours. After the cross co-precipitation process, the precipitant is removed for by washing up a paper filter until the filtrate is neutral. The percussion is dry in oven at 120 degrees Celsius for 12 hours, and then mixed with sodium carbonate uh, using mortal and parsley. Sodium carbonate is in 3% excess. In the sintering is carried out at 1900 degrees Celsius for 20 hours, then material was characterization. The characterization test uh, first 
for the transformer infrared spectroscopy was used for analysis the functional group and surface composition of the material. X-ray diffractometer was used for the analysis of the crystal structure of the sample. A scanning electron microscope was used in the morphology of the sample and X-ray florence was used for analysis the chemical element. Result indication speak the picture saw the absorbent spectrum of sodium nickel titanium oxide cathode material before sintering. The block peak uh, located uh, around the 3340 cm and 60,000 cm can be attributed to bending vibration of water molecule. The sharp peak located around the 13,000 cm are correspond to CO bond. After adding excess sodium salt, a precursor is prepared from sintering. On the sintering, burning of water and CO is hiding. That can be used to answer with sintering. Burning on the precursor is a course. The figure indicates the, the XAD result of sodium nickel titanium oxide material. It is previously clear that all samples saw a layer of Alpha sodium ferrooxide, like a hexagonal structure with no impurities detected. From table, the value of C per I is 5.0479. This research suggests the material has a layer structure that allows sodium ion to be delivered and transferred efficiently. The figure saw the result of same sodium nickel titanium oxide at magnification of 5,000 and 10,000. Sodium nickel titanium oxide cathode material is a average primary particle size of 3 micrometer. The sample consists of primary particle and secondary particle. Secondary particle are agglomerate of primary particle. As in now, primary particle size seem to have more effect of the surface layer between the active material and electrolyte, and a low interface area can inhibit ion diffusion rate. Material composition dates that were successfully synthesis are nickel 54.7% and titanium for 45.6% the not suitable composition was obtained because some factors include the solubility of each metal. The titanium oxide hydroxide precipitation occurs faster than nickel due to extremely low solubility constant of value. Nickel hydroxide has not yet created when the titanium oxide hydroxide is product. However, the combination of the material obtained is close to the shard. The conclusion, sodium nickel titanium oxide has successfully developed using a combination method of co-precipitation and solid state. Two, from the characterization can be concluded that the material has been formed and has a good structure. The sodium nickel titanium oxide material has the potential to be applied as a cathode form sodium ion battery. Acknowledgement, the paper is supported by the Center of Excellence for Electrical Energy Storage, Sebelas Marat University, as a provider of facilities, and UMG ID Lab as a provider of funds for this research. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.